Hey guys, so before I start this video, I'm actually really, really kind of flabbergasted about what's happening this week. This week, David Bowie passed away, and I thought David Bowie was really, really hot, especially when he got older, but I thought he was super hot in Labyrinth. Um, you guys may know him from Harry Potter, Professor Snape, or aka Alan Rickman, that's his real name passed away today at the same age, the same age as David Bowie. Heaven got some beautiful angels this week. Let's get into the video. Today I'm going to be doing a lip swatch slash review, first impression, of the Milani Lip Intense Liquid Colors. I only have two for you today to lip swatch and show you guys. They retail for $6.49 at Walgreens. You can find these online, so I'm going to link the two colors so that you can go and purchase these down below in the down bar. Um... I actually got mine from the Dollar Tree, so I did not pay that much for these two products. So definitely go check out your Dollar Tree. I just did a Dollar Tree haul as well, so I'm going to link that. Leave that linked down below. It's all makeup, so, and it's all like name brand, like um, Milani, Maybelline. There's a bunch of different great stuff in there, so go check that out. Our first color here is um, Fiery Coral 03. It's just a yellow based pink. It does not look coral to me at all. I don't know if you'll be able to see the name. Yeah, there it is. And then we have 02 Pink Rave, and this one's like a bright fuchsia berry kind of pink. And they're both just a cream finish. They're not shimmery or anything. They're not matte either. So that's that. I do like the packaging. I like the gold accents that Milani always has. Um, I do like the packaging. I love the doe foot applicator. It's a very nice doe foot applicator. It's very like long and it's kind of flexible, um, but not, it's like a little flexible. Do you see how it's like bent? I do appreciate that you can twist it all the way and it'll be the same again, unlike some nail polishes I know of. Let's get into the swatching. Okay guys, so I am swatching Fiery Coral on my lips right now. And um, you're gonna see how pigmented it goes on. I did be, a, I was a little gun shy with this, so I kind of cleaned off my um, applicator, but I definitely would recommend when you're applying these to use a lip liner because otherwise they bleed, and you'll see that in the next one that I do. These remove very easily. When you wear them throughout the day, they're gonna give you a great lip stain. It's gonna be a lot less it's going to be a little bit more natural. Um, they're not going to be as intense. The stain won't be, but I mean, they're so beautiful, so creamy, so smooth. And this one I was careful with, and the other one I just went crazy. So you'll see that it's really freaking messy. So I do apologize about that. The next one here is Pink Rave, and it's a berry kind of pink. It's more of like a fuchsia. And see, I just was like, oh, I got this. Like, I know what I'm doing. No. It started to bleed and when I was talking and eating downstairs it just just it just started to leave the corners of my mouth and just kind of escape and go a little wonky so you'll see that in my update you will see how bad it did get and when I was took off the other one I kind of removed some of the makeup off my zit so it looks it doesn't look very very good and I thought it was and I was like, oh, that's my zit, you know? So anyways, that's what it looks like. And they're very, very glossy. Love them. So my lips are on. Um, it went on super smooth, super flawless, very beautiful um, for both colors. This one's a little bit more shiny. The um, Pink Rave, which is the one I have on right now, it's a little bit more shiny, but... Um, I think that you'd be able to build it up with the other one. I kind of went a little light-handed on it just because I wasn't really sure how messy the applicator was, so I kind of cleaned it off. Um, but definitely this one is very shiny too when I've like done a big swatch on the back of my hand. Like, I'll do it now. If I can get it, there we go. So, like, there it is. It's shiny there. You can see the gloss. It is... 11:51. So I will check with you, check back with you guys in a few hours. Hey guys. So currently it is 2:14, and I'm checking back in. So it's been about um, two hours since I last talked to you guys, and I ate lunch. This is what it's looking like. I'll zoom you guys in. I did put this one on like kind of messy. <laughs> So 
So as you can see, it's worn off like here. Uh, probably mostly from drinking and eating, but that's just things I do normally. And I have been, um, I know I'm all zoomed in, I'm about to reapply. I know, um, you know, it's just typical, like, we eat during the day, that's what's going to happen. So, I am going to put back that shade right back on. Um, I've just been laying on the couch too, so I haven't done anything. I was watching, um, The Labyrinth, and I'm now watching, well, I was, so I came up here to do this. Shark Tank, so I'm just gonna go ahead and reapply. So, I did forget to mention about the scent of these. They do not smell fruity or um, sugary or sweet or anything. They pretty much smell like crayons, melted crayons. Um, so, I don't know why, but I think Milani always has that kind of distinct scent. These are actually my very first Milani lip colors. So, um, that's all I know about that. They are just very cosmetic smelling, but, um, I just reapplied one time, so, within two hours. So, I will check back with you guys in about a couple more hours, and I think that should wrap things up. Bye, guys!